Lightning flashes lit up the Northeast Denver Metro at about 10 o'clock Tuesday night. This was not just a regular thunderstorm though. This one was dumping heavy snow. You get thunder snow when a regular thunderstorm forms in a colder environment. Our normal snow showers on the front range form in a low cloud layer between about six and 10,000 feet. The clouds have to be much taller to create lightning. On Tuesday night, that storm cell lifted up to about 25,000 feet, which is tall enough for lightning, and it became a thunderstorm. Even thunderstorms in the summer create snow. In fact, it's the key to separating the negative charges to the bottom of the clouds so lightning can form. The difference with thunder snow is that the air below the cloud is cold enough to allow the snow to reach the ground before it melts into rain. As that thunder snow developed on Tuesday night, Denver only needed 1.7 inches of snow to break the record for the snowiest march in history. Look at the path of this rogue thunder snow cell as it, despite low odds, set its sight on Denver's official weather station at DIA. As you can see, it was a direct hit, but it didn't stay for long. It did drop nearly a half inch of snow, which got the monthly total up to 34 inches, which is still Denver's second snowiest march in history. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.